I've had a Ring video doorbell installed in my home since the first generation version came out several years ago. Recently, Ring has updated its doorbell to the Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com for Best Buy Canada's blog, and I'm going to take a look at what's new in this version, why you might want to upgrade, the overall quality, and how easy it is to set up and use. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus is the newest video doorbell option from Ring, and there are a few new features in the 3 Plus to be aware of. The Video Doorbell 3 Plus has something called Snapshot Cam, which will record still images of your property throughout the day. This allows you to review what's happening in front of your devices in between the actual events it's recording. The images taken by the Snapshot Capture feature are added to your timeline along with the videos taken during motion events and live view. That way you can scan through a single timeline and get a good overview of what's happening around your home. Pre-roll video is also new with Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus. It starts recording before you get notified of motion or before someone rings your doorbell. It essentially extends the length of your recorded videos and to save battery life, pre-roll video is in black and white and it's silent and it only works while it's light out. The great thing about this doorbell version is you can install it using the battery or hardwire it in. Previous versions meant you needed to choose one device over the other. This version of the doorbell, like the Doorbell 2, has a removable battery pack so that you can recharge it more easily. In my previous experience, the battery here lasts around two to three months on a single charge, but this does depend on the number of rings and how often it trips motion. The Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus has a stronger connection than previous versions. With dual band Wi-Fi, the connection should be more reliable than ever before. In order to get the most from your Ring video doorbell and your cameras, you should know you'll probably want to enable Ring Protect. Ring Protect is a monthly service plan that allows you to save and view recordings from your devices. Prices range from about $5 to $15 a month and there's no contract required so you can cancel at any time. There is a free version that lets you view your camera's live feeds, but you won't have access to recordings of any previous events. I'm going to post the details of the different plans in the description below because they are quite different from each other, and depending on your needs, you'll want to make sure to choose properly. One of the best features about Ring's home security devices, in my opinion, is their integration and management all in one app. You can link your lights to your doorbells or your cameras so that if motion's detected, all your Ring lights will turn on, or if the lights detect motion, you can have the cameras start rolling. You can see every one of your devices from inside the Ring app. It's easy to manage and configure everything in there. The new Ring Chime Pro here is an optional add-on device for your Ring video doorbell. There's the Chime Pro and there's the new Chime Pro. This new version is a little cleaner and nicer designed in my opinion and it does away with the spacey antenna that used to adorn the original version. This new version is three things. First, it's an audible doorbell speaker. Without one, the only way you could get doorbell alerts is to the app on your phone before. So Chime Pro lets you hear the doorbell if you're not near your phone. It's actually quite handy. There are over 30 doorbell chimes to choose from and you can adjust the volume to your needs. You can set up Chime Pro to not only send a chime tone when someone presses your video doorbell, but also if motion is detected on your security cameras if you want that. Chime Pro is also a Wi-Fi extender, so your Ring devices have better, stronger connectivity. It also has a built-in and automatic nightlight. Getting the doorbell set up was simple. Now, the last time I set up a Ring doorbell for my in-laws, it turned out it was fussy and it took numerous attempts. So I'm happy to report that this one's set up easily on the first try. First, you want to make sure you have the Ring app and an account so you're ready to sign up or log in. All you need to do is fully charge the battery inside the doorbell and then insert it. You'll hear the device power up and then you can go into the app and choose add device, then follow the simple instructions. What can I say about using this device? It is super easy, convenient, and it does exactly what it says it does. You can answer a ring to your doorbell and see and speak with whoever's there. You can also get notified of motion. So even if somebody actually doesn't touch or ring the doorbell, you can still see them and hear anything that's going on. 
The Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus camera and audio quality is really very good. You can easily identify people and hear what's being said both day and night. Your Ring cameras are designed to alert you to movement on your property as well. You'll get an alert to your phone whenever the camera or the doorbell senses motion. You can configure exactly where those alerts are detected and you can disable the area in front of a busy public sidewalk, for example, or near where your dog hangs out. You can also adjust the motion sensitivity to alert you to any movement or just the big ones. Wondering if you should upgrade your old Ring video doorbell? If you already own one and it's working fine, you probably don't need to upgrade just yet unless you need those additional features like the pre-roll alerts or you're having connectivity concerns. If you'll be making a brand new purchase, this is a great device to start you off. You can also add shared users in the control center. With a few taps, you can give access to certain cameras, doorbells, or your whole home to whoever needs it. One of the great options with Ring is the ability to connect the cameras and the doorbells with Amazon Alexa Hello. so you can get voice control or remote viewing using an Amazon smart device with a screen. Overall, I am really happy with the Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus. The video quality is great, it's very easy to use it to communicate, and I do like the option of having the cloud to access videos. The rechargeable battery lasts for months, which I think is awesome, and I love being able to use my Amazon Echo Show to view the cameras without needing to reach for my phone. Downsides? I can't think of any. Ring really makes great quality, reliable, and easy to use home security products. When it comes to the new Chime Pro, I think it's also a great addition to the kit. I've never had one before now, and I like being able to hear the doorbell when my phone isn't handy. I also feel like it's helping with the overall connectivity of my now extensive Ring home security system. I like the new and more minimalist design of the Chime Pro a lot better too. Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus sells for about 289 Canadian dollars, plus the cost of a Ring Protect plan if you want that, and I do recommend it. The new Chime Pro costs about $50 or $60, and you can get them both at Best Buy. If you want to read more about the Ring Video Doorbell and the Chime Pro, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full blog, and you can ask any questions you have about these devices either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next time, you can catch me on Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always find me at Facebook.com slash TechGadgetsCanada.